Thanks, Catherine. Well, the Hammonds Port Fire Department is kicking off their Fireman's Carnival tonight. Joining me now, we have Bill and Barb Frizz, the chief and the president of the Hammonds Port Fire Department. Thanks for coming on, guys. Thank you. Of course, so tell us a little bit about the carnival and what it entails. Well, this year, for the first time we've been in, since COVID hit, we've been able to uh, get rides back. So we're excited for that because bounce houses just don't always get it for the older mm -hmm. kids. But um, it's always been a community event. So we're looking forward to it every year. People come back to see other people and it should be a good time. That's awesome. And so, Barb, how long has this event been going on for? I understand this is not the first year it's been happening. Yeah, I think Bill did some research and found that back in like 1915, wow. there was actually some sort of a little carnival in the community. So it's been something like that almost annually ever oh, since? Oh, yeah. Yep. Wow. Oh, my gosh. So how does it feel to continue on this tradition for more than a century now at this point? Well, it's just, it, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Just uh we just probably in all this, the footprints of everybody that's done it before us. And, and like in 1915, they made $954, which back then that was a lot of money. So yeah. it's just, it's, it's for the community. It brings the community together and we just, we enjoy doing it. What's been some of the best feedback that you've heard from community members throughout the years about the carnival? It's the annual event. And for so many of our community members, it's uh, an alumni get together. Mm -hmm. It's when everybody comes home and finds their friends and they go to the carnival and they hang out and so that's a really big deal for our community. And I understand there's not just going to be bounce houses and rides, there's going to be food and vendors as well, correct? correct. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, we have some clams, we have uh, beverages, um, pull tabs, uh, Bradford Fire Department and uh, the Wayne Fire Department have food stands, so they benefit from it also. And sausage and um, just good fair food, I guess. Yeah, it sounds <laughs> like it. And so I know it's going from until Saturday. Each day has something different going on. What's something, what are some of the highlights that you can only see on certain nights? Well, tonight I think it's just, we get open tonight, you know, mm -hmm. and just figure everything out. Tomorrow night, water ball starts at six o'clock, I believe. So we'll have several teams coming in to do that. And that'll be right next to the firehouse. Then Saturday, the big event is from 11 to 1. There's fire truck rides still for the kids. So they have a ball doing in that. Then the carnival opens at 1. Parade is at 6 p.m. tomorrow night, which comes right down Main Street in Hammondsport. Saturday night. Or Saturday <laughs> night, yes, duh. <laughs> and then uh, the finale is the fireworks at 10 o'clock on Saturday night, and yep. we start planning for next year. <laughs> and then we had the smoke on the water coming up in August. So. It's a busy summer in Hammersport. When you're in Hammersport, the summer goes by fast. Sounds like it. And so if anyone's interested in attending the carnival, when and where is it going to be taking place? I know you said 1 p.m. starting on Saturday, but what about tonight and tomorrow? 6 o'clock. And it's at the fire department, yep, correct? Right yep, right adjacent to Champlain Beach. And free admission, right? Free admission. Free admission. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for coming okay, on. Best of luck. It sounds like a fun time. We're going to have all the information on the Hammondsport Fire Department's carnival on our website after the broadcast at WENY.com. But, Kurt, I'm going to send it back over to you for now.